Hi, this is John Koniak. Welcome to our next session in your path to financial success. And we today we'll be talking about building a secure retirement. So we're going to cover retirement planning. Uh, we're going to go through a 401k account, which is both traditional and Roth. We're going to talk about the differences between a traditional and a Roth, uh, both an IRA as well as 401k and also cover a SEP IRA and I-401k, which is a retirement account for self-employed people. <laughs> so first of all, <clears throat> uh, why is retirement important? Why is saving for retirement important when you're in your 20s? Well, you're, you are responsible for generating your, generating your own income in retirement. And it's primarily gonna come from your retirement savings vehicles. It could come from savings. You could have some, um, you know, also cash stashed away elsewhere in investments, but primarily it's likely to come from your retirement plans. And if you think about it today, people are living in retirement 20, 30 years, sometimes even more. So you need to save up enough money to where that you can live on for 20 to 30 years. That's a large amount. So, but don't fret, there's a way to get there. And we'll talk uh, about the path to doing that. So social security, which is something that you will pay into, will provide some form of the income to you. And that comes from the government. Um, but as I mentioned, you pay into it. That's not enough to cover you likely in retirement. That's enough for you to get by, barely. Uh, it's probably not going to be enough to sustain your lifestyle. So you need to supplement it. And really, retirement accounts are expected to be the primary form of income for you in retirement. So let's go through some retirement account definitions. So first of all, we have a traditional retirement account. And then we have a Roth. Those are the two main types. So a traditional account, that is where your contributions are pre-tax. That means you do not get taxed on the money you contribute to that plan. Sometimes, most of the time, you get a tax deduction for it. And when you do pay tax, it is when you withdraw money from that account. So when you're retired, when you're pulling money out of the account, that's when you'll be taxed. So that's a traditional plan. Then there is a Roth plan. A Roth plan is where you pay tax first. You pay tax now, you contribute it to the plan, and then it grows tax-free and you get to withdraw it tax-free for when you do pull it out in retirement. So two different approaches and there is a strategy for when to use each one. Then um, you have employer, provided retirement plans. Most of you will contribute to a 401k or a 403b plan. There are other types, but those are the most common. And those can also be traditional or Roth. And then finally, if you are self-employed, then you should highly encourage you to set up either a Roth IRA or preferably an individual 401k account. So <clears throat> different plans <clears throat> for uh, different ways that you work. <clears throat> so retirement contributions, how much should you contribute? So per a prior workshop, number three, you should target saving about 20% of your earnings for retirement and our savings. So pay yourself first before paying others. So that means before you pay even your rent, before you pay bills, pay yourself first, take that 20% out, right? This is all part of uh, living within or below your means. Um, and should you contribute to an employee-sponsored <clears throat> retirement plan? The answer is absolutely. In fact, many employers will offer matching dollars. So they will contribute some, as long as you contribute some. 
you want to try to max out their contribution. Think of it as a bonus. And that's additional income that your employer is providing to you. Take it. Do what you can to earn that. So definitely think about uh, how to maximize that contribution. So now the big question, should you do a traditional or a Roth account? Mm, well, mm, there's a basic rule of thumb. If you expect your tax rate mm, to be higher in retirement, so mm, if you expect to make, typically if you expect to make more money when you're retired than you are now, then contribute to a Roth account. So I will tell you that mm, most of you, you're just starting out earning, you're going to want to contribute to a Roth, right? You're, you're not in your peak earning years yet. You're still young. You're working your way up. Contribute to a Roth account. Pay the tax. Pay the tax now. Yes, it may be a little bit painful, but you know what? It's going to be a lot better later because it's going to come out tax-free. So when do you contribute to a, to a traditional IRA? you would contribute to a traditional account, a IRA or a 401k, if you expect your earnings to be less in retirement and your tax rate lower. So that's when you contribute. <clears throat> Typically when you are in your prime earning years, when you're making a lot of money, <clears throat> then you should be contributing to a traditional 401k or traditional IRA account. So retirement accounts, while they're invested, while they're sitting in the retirement account, they do not generate a taxable event. The taxable event is only when you take the money out. So typically people, good, good advice is to put your tax inefficient investments into your retirement account. So there are some investments that generate, tend to generate a lot of tax and there are others that don't. You want kind of high growth, uh, inefficient investments, put those in your retirement account. I've heard some people say, oh no, you want your retirement account to be safe and secure and stable, put something really safe in there. No, you should actually be doing the opposite. Uh, you should be taking risks in the account because you have a good chance of higher returns and you're able to avoid paying tax or defer paying tax until retirement. So a little bit different than uh, sometimes that, that folks give advice, but really from a tax perspective, you want inefficient things, inefficient investments, tax inefficient investments in your retirement account. And you should be thinking about these investments for the long term. These aren't short term investments. You're not going to take them and flip them, you know, each and every year. You can be making investments for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. So if there are some investments that tend to pay off over a longer period of time, think about stocks. They are very cyclical. And there are significant periods where they might be down for a number of years. But over time, over a long period of time, over the last 100 years, in fact, they have generated returns of 8% or more. So great track record, but really it's a long-term investment. So in summary, you should be saving 20% of your earnings by putting aside your retirement or savings account allocation first. Pull that 20% out, put it in retirement. Leverage your company sponsor retirement plan and take advantage of any matching funds. If you are self-employed, set up an I-401k plan. Easy to do, set it up, but you want to have a retirement plan. And initially, contribute to a Roth plan while you're not earning not in your prime earning years, contribute to a Roth and evolve that to a traditional plan as your earnings increase. Thank you very much.